Hi everybody, Martin the Flick and Feathers again today and I'm tying this bass worm I've been working on for a while I'm calling it the Stand Up Guy A great wee pattern Basically I've designed this to imitate an egg rig right? Most of the sort of worm flies that you see they're the right shape but they don't behave in the same way as the soft plastics that we're trying to copy and I've got pretty close with this um, it looks much like an Ed Rig. Um, an Ed Rig one would look fished on conventional gear. You can tie them in different sizes and all that to suit. But it's a very subtle bait, a fly, I should say. Um, sinks slowly, the tail hangs, it hops. It's when you hop it or when you drag it it behaves in the same way as the soft plastic. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody that wants to support the channel. Get access to the members only content, the monthly tying classes, and enter the giveaways. Alternatively, hit the like button, leave a comment, share the video, that's all I appreciate it. And does help the channel. So, get my hook in my vice. This is an Allen jig hook. Uh, it's the J two hundred, I think it's the code. And it's a one out, and I've just started some uni six o and tan thread. Doesn't really matter, right? You can use a bright thread if you want a like, hot spot near the head. Um, it's entirely up to you. But something that's at a one forty deniers of it the right size for this. So I'm attaching my dumbbells and I'm using um, groovy twin eyes here because they're you know, you get quite a round shape but it doesn't make any difference really. I just like the look of it more than anything else. And oh, I'm tying them obviously inside the bend of the jig which is a wee bit tricky um, but you do exactly the same as you would on the straight part of the shank. Tie over the eye and under the hook and then under the eye and over the hook. And now to really make that strong, I come down the shank. And then back up. Right. And I'll take a few more wraps because this is what really locks it in. I've said this on other videos, that pass up and down the hook, it gives you so much more grip and it really will lock the eyes in much better than just a couple of passes in the same spot and it's much stronger than using glue. There we go, and I'm not going to super glue that, there's no need. So, now that I've done that, I'm ready for my tail assembly. I'll have to get it ready. So, I've got here a 7mm booby eye, and I've passed the needle up through the length of it. I've got a separate video on how I make these eyes, I'll put a link in a card. Up here, up in this top corner, here. You can see that if you need it. And I'm going to get a length of 17 pound hard nylon. Cut off four inches, ten centimeters, something like that. You can use 20, but don't go any heavier than 20, because then it's too stiff. Right. I'm going to slide the booby eye onto the nylon. And I'm going to get a bit of super glue. Let's pick the best end there, that's fine. Get that 
that one and let it set up. I just wait a second. You can get a wee squeeze. Once it's set, I'm going to come in with my lighter. And melt this. And I actually want these to melt together. And then I'll press it flat on my desk. I've got a kind of disc here, so I'll just come in again. You can use the back of your nail. Just to sort of smooth it. I've got Yeah. So the length I don't make these any bigger than about three inches, right? So seven and a half centimeters. Um, you can go smaller if you want as well. So just take a couple of tons of thread, and I take it from the front of the jig hook, and I just draw this in. That's that there's seven and a half. And I'll just tie this down. And I'm not being super fussy at this stage. And then although there's no any pressure on it, I do fold it back just for a bit of security and to gain a bit of diameter. Um, which you'll see why when I wind the body. At this stage I'm also going to attach my weed guard. Um, so come up here. Weed guard's optional, I suppose. Um, but I think you might as well stick it on and then if you want to you can take it off. So for the weed guard I'm using £20 hard nylon. You can use the like £30 fluoro as well if you wish. but. Twenty pound hard nylon's fine. So, got a length here, cup, couple inches per side, folded over into a loop, three four wraps in front of the loop, and behind the sprigs, and then three four wraps behind the loop and in front of the sprigs, and then just pull it down, and then figure eight through. just to separate them. And then I'm going to come back to the bend. And if you leave them long, you can just tie through and you'll see they move out of the way, right? There's, there's enough sort of flex in them at that length that you don't need to worry about getting tangled up in them too much. I'm using woolly bugger chenille for the rest of the fly. You can use any kind of chenille, the variegated chenille's nice, like that sort of stonefly stuff. But I like this because it's got the wee flex of pearl in it. Um, again, rep reminiscent of a plastic worm. I'm just tying that in by the core. And then... Work my thread to the front. And we're ready to do the tail and body. So I'm just going to start winding this around and it's easy in the way up, you just sort of spiral it, pull it down, like tighten into it. And just swap hands around the nylon. It's maybe kind of hard for you to see what I'm doing, but so pushing that in. it down. And what happens as well, you have some you have some curvature in the nylon of the spool, but doing this 
it takes the curve out. Right, the the pressure of the chenille straightens the worm. Just keep them going all the way up. And I'm going to make sure I'm right up against that foam. And then I'm going to work my way back down. So when you get back down, you get something that looks like this. And you'll, you'll see there's a point where it sits straight and you can pull tight and the worm will sit more or less straight. If you, at this stage, don't, you need to come onto the hook. If you don't come onto the hook and you put another wrap, the worm will kick up like this. Right, so you, when you pull it nice and tight, now we'll get a couple of wraps on the hook. Just pull this to the side, it's on the material clip, which is okay. And so I don't forget, I'm going to flood this back end just where the chenille meets the foam. Just flood it with head cement. Plenty. When that dries, you don't know it's there. Um, it doesn't affect the colour of this synthetic chenille in any way. And give that a turn. Put a half hitch on here, and I will use the rotary. It's just so much easier for this at this stage. Try to go in amongst that weed guard. Just make sure it's nice and tight. the weed guard I can come back to using my hands now I'm going to make my tie off behind the dumbbells rather than at the hook eye um, just because it gives you a nicer sort of neater head so through the weed guard and over on my side of the, the hook eye and then I'll do the same on yours I'll come over I can tie it there and this thread is fine enough that it'll just sort of You'll be able to see it, but it more or less sinks in to the the worm body. I'll just come in, whip finish, and again, nice and tight. Coming with the heavy scissors to cut this. Take that away, and then just line up the the weed guard. Trim that to length. I mean, obviously, you can mess about with that. And much as I did at the tail end, I'm going to just flood this. cement get any of that chenille we're just going to be hitting the hitting the bottom ok 
give you a nice strong fly. So there you go, that's the stand up guy. Hope you found it useful. If you did, I'll give my thumbs up below and I'll see you for another video. Take lens guys, bye.